we're going to start off with just making a hole where I will fish the cable through from the top. Whatever building you're in, you want to look at the electrical outlets and figure out how high off the ground they are, and you want to try to match up your wall plate to that. I'm going to cut this one in at 12 inches off the ground. I go into so many sites where wall plates are just dangling out of the wall because someone didn't take the time to put in some sort of wall plate or a box in the drywall. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my 12 inches off the ground. Obviously with my wall, I know where the studs are. If you're in a regular building, you're going to have a long stretch of wall. You're not going to know where the studs are. If it's a drop tile ceiling, you can pop a tile overhead and you can look at the header and look where the screws are going because that's going to tell you that screws are going into the studs for the top plate. Yeah, there's all kinds of fancy solutions, but I've got a, just a magnetic stud finder. So in theory, if I had a long stretch of wall, I would run this up and down the wall and I would sweep and I would watch for it to do any kind of grab like it did just right there. Because typically you're gonna have either a metal stud or you're gonna have screws in the wall. Now that we've located our stud, we're gonna draw out our template. You always wanna start smaller and go larger because if you make the hole too big, then you're gonna be in trouble. I always go horizontally just in case you have missed that there really is a stud in this area or there's a pipe or something going vertically in the wall. Now, as you can see, I made my mark, my 12 inch mark here, but I actually cut a little bit higher. Your bracket is always gonna be a little bit higher than your actual wall plate. I recommend that you don't actually put the bracket in the wall quite yet, because you want to be able to get your hand inside the wall. With that bracket in place, you cannot get your hand all the way in. I can put my hand at an angle, and I can still get my hand in the wall. That way, I can reach all around in that stud bay and reach for fish sticks and find them or any cable or anything else that I need to. And the next step is to make a hole in the header. 